So I've just captured my first image for today and I'll talk about that and show you the composition in just a second, it's over this direction. But this is going to be an interesting and potentially challenging day for some woodland photography. I was looking at the forecast yesterday uh, with regards to today and it was meant to be slightly overcast, not a lot of sunlight breaking through and it was going to be quite calm and quite warm. It certainly is warm, it certainly is calm, but when I got up this morning there was actually some mist hanging around. It's now long gone and the sun has broken through, there's blue sky and it's quite bright. So being perfectly honest, it's not the conditions I was expecting or hoping for. It's not really the ideal way I'd, I'd like to photograph a woodland in these conditions, but I'm here now, I'm going to make the most of it. And on the positive side, it's a fantastic day to be out and I've already found a composition that I really like. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, being completely open, the lighting conditions are far from ideal for this particular image. So this is more a scene which I've captured to, to double check my composition when I get home and log in the memory banks to return to in better conditions, but I do like the composition. so. My camera is just over this direction, the scene is over here. So it really is fantastic to be back outdoors again. And the footage you've just been watching was captured roughly 14 months ago now. And I headed out early in the morning to this very woodland on a day in which it was promised there would be fog according to the weather forecast. So I had a look around and unfortunately <laughs> the weather forecast got it completely wrong. Very soon after I headed out I was treated to very bright blue skies, very bright sunlight and I just found myself in the wrong place at the wrong time for the weather conditions. So, that uh, video I recorded on that day was never completed, I just abandoned it. However, I did find a scene deep into this woodland which really caught my imagination and I took a concept image of it, but in my mind I always wanted to come back when there was some mist. And that scene's never went far from the back of my mind. I've always been looking at the weather forecast, hoping I'll get some mist, but it just has never happened. You don't seem to get mist very often here. But anyway, I've decided now is the time to return and try and find this scene again. We've got very nice conditions today. It's late in spring. We've got some nice spring greens around. There's been some rain, so it really is lovely conditions. And I'm hoping I may get this scene captured much more aligned to the, the vision I had when I actually found it. So that's my plan. And if it doesn't look right today, then at least I'll have refound the scene and cemented its location in my mind to return to if I'm ever lucky enough to get some mist. But I really do think these conditions are nice and it could work really well today. So I'm quite excited, but first I need to head off and Try and find it, hopefully I can do that. So I'm struggling a bit in terms of finding this actual scene and I've been walking around this woodland for quite a while now and the sun actually came out extremely bright and it made a lot of contrasty light across the woodland so there was patches of extremely bright light and patches of very dark shadow as well and that's not really what I wanted at all. I really wanted the light that you'd have seen in the, the beginning of this video when I arrived here today, but I'm going to keep looking. I think my best hope is for a very brief glimmer of light today, and if I get that, I'll be extremely lucky, but if not, if I, if I can at least find this, I'll be able to mark its location in my mind and return when I do think the light 
is more suited to the scene. So I've walked on a bit further and I think I'm in luck. I think I can see off in the distance the actual scene that I've been trying for so long to find today, but I'm really not having much luck with the light. Just literally two minutes ago it was incredibly flat and the whole woodland looked lifeless. Now, literally just as I've spotted this, the sun has come out again. You hopefully be able to see that coming from behind me and we've got patchy light, but I am in luck. I have actually spot, uh, found the scene. So if I can just make my way over there. So this has been quite a bit of effort and it's not looking its best at the moment, I have to say. So I think this could lead to a return visit. This is the problem I had the very first time I found this scene about 14 months ago now. It looked really, really nice when I found it, but there was a promise of fog on that day and it wasn't foggy when I found it, but it was certainly a bit overcast. Then when I got my camera gear out, the, the sun came out, it was coming from the, the right of the scene and it just made some quite patchy light and it made the background a little bit too bright for my liking. Now the sun is in a different direction today, but I've got exactly the same problem, but I'll show you the scene anyway. So this is the scene right behind me here and it's really one that caught my attention when I first found it but unfortunately I've got the same lighting issues or very similar lighting issues as I had 14 months ago but the light is coming from a different direction. But what interests me in this scene is we've got this tree on the right with some very nice shape and it's got a branch which leans out to the left and over that broken tree in the distance and also at the base of this tree here we've got some broken branches as well which lean over that direction and we've just got some interesting shaped trees to the left you can see we've sort of got three similar trees in a in a row and the, the third one on the right has broken over so this is the actual scene that I want to capture and it's been at the back of my mind for about 14 months now. I've really wanted some mist in the background to try and just darken and soften the background a little bit because as you can see just now when it's lit up it really is too bright, too much patchy light for the scene to work at least to my own taste. But yeah, it's nice to have found it. So I'm now going to cement this spot in my mind and I'll be able to find it again. So when the conditions are right, I'll be able to get here much, much quicker and know where I'm going and not waste any time. But to be honest, it's not worth me taking any images, I don't think at the moment. Uh, the lighting conditions are just so far off what I actually want here. I think it's going to be very hard to get mist in this area. I've, I've never found it or seen it forecast yet. So what I think I would like to do is try and photograph this scene when there's some perhaps rainy conditions and the background's just a little bit softer and more muted. And I think at this time in spring, if we can get a little bit of rain, maybe some of the ground and the trees are wet, it's just going to have a nice look to it. But at the moment it's just not right but I found the location so I'll say bye for now and I'll see you back here some other time.
So it's now about half past five the following morning and I'm making my way back to the location that I was in yesterday. There's been quite a lot of rain overnight so the woodland's got a slightly wet look to it which is really good for what I'm wanting. And it's not too bright at the moment at least, it will be getting brighter as every minute passes of course but the conditions look okay at the moment so I'm hopeful but this scene very much depends on how the light looks. So I've been here for just over an hour now and I've been taking a number of different shots here in different lighting conditions and I've just been experimenting with the scene a little bit. I've been having a look around as well and my preferred composition is pretty much the one that I saw 14 months ago now. So sticking with pretty much the same composition, I've got the camera position just here. And I'm taking in this bush here just at the bottom left of the image, same as I did uh, all that time ago and for the same reasons. It's just because it's showing a little bit of the, the vibrant spring colour. So we've had the rain that I talked about. The foliage has got that subtle wet look to it. And the sun's come up from behind my scene and moved to the right. And I've just been capturing it in subtly different lighting. But I think the image is going to turn out quite good. My concern 14 months ago, and still a slight concern, but not too big of a problem, is that there's patches of sky in the distance visible through the trees. Now, ideally in my woodland shots, I wouldn't like that, but there's not really any way I can avoid it with this scene. And looking at my histogram, I've managed to get the whole scene captured without any clipping of the highlights, not even near clipping the highlights, no clipping of the shadows. So those patches are pretty much as soft and as subtle, the patches of light that I'll be able to get them. Maybe one day if I was fortunate enough to get some really thick mist then it may help hide that a little bit. But because they're, they're not really huge patches of light and because they're scattered pretty consistently across in the distance, I don't think it's a major issue. But I believe I talked about the scene a little bit uh, yesterday evening when I was here. But as I say, taking in this bush at the bottom right, just to show some of the spring colour, we've got this tree at the right which has got a fallen branch broken off at the ground reaching over to the other fallen tree on the left. And this outstretched arm, as I see it, I'm just positioning that just over the break in the tree in the distance. So it's really old looking trees, quite a nice woodland scene. And I'm really pleased that I've got it in conditions which I personally feel are pretty much as good as I'm going to get. As I say, if I ever do see that there's going to be some mist here, I will come back. But I'm pretty pleased with the lighting. A nice soft, even lighting I've managed to get this morning. There's been some rain as well. You'll see that in my camera just in front of me here. But yeah, I think this is pretty much as good as I'm going to get. Uh, unless I get those elusive, misty conditions. I've also been experimenting a little bit with shutter speed. I've been using a fast enough shutter speed so everything's frozen in motion and there's no blur in the image. But it's been quite windy this morning, a few breezes of, or gusts of wind blowing through. So I've used some slower shutter speed just to take in a little bit of the motion in this, uh, this bush just in front of me here. But I'm not sure which one I'll, I'll use. I'll need to review that in the the editing suite of course but I'm going to leave this scene here now I'm pretty confident I've captured it captured a nice image 
And there was something else I noticed in the way up, so I'm going to head back there and if the lighting is still good, I'll grab an image there and talk you through that one. For this composition I kept it very similar to the concept image I took 14 months ago and I feel I've improved in that image due to having a softer light which is more suited to the scene and more aligned with the vision I had in my mind. The tree second from the right is offering an arm of support to the broken tree to its left almost as if it suffered at some point itself. You can see a broken branch at its base suggesting this, so it knows how the other tree feels. The tree furthest left stands watching over what's happening, almost as if it's encouraged the broken tree near it to seek support from the one with the outstretched arm. The tree furthest right shows no signs of damage, almost as if that characterful tree near it has healed its wounds at some point in time. I included the bush at the bottom left to try and make the viewer feel they are slightly distanced from the situation that is ahead of them and to show some spring green colour. I feel the tree furthest right also helps balance the image when I include the bush bottom left. That's the story that I see in this photograph but the beauty of photography is that hopefully our images encourage the viewer to experience some sort of feeling and emotion and perhaps to see and create their own story within the scene. I really love this scene but it comes with some challenges in terms of getting a good photograph. The main issue I face here and which detracted more so from my image taken 14 months ago is the necessity to include the patches of sky which are visible through the trees in the distance. I could of course raise my tripod and point my camera downwards slightly in an attempt to remove the amount of sky in the image, but that introduces two problems for me. The first is that it introduces more of the foreground in the scene which detracts from my composition. The second issue is that it would make the outstretched arm or branch and the broken tree overlap in my image. For me it is very important that I maintain a small amount of space between these two elements. With all that said, I don't see the sky as too much of an issue in this image and I am quite pleased with the result. I said in the video that when I visited this location on the evening of the first day that I wasn't going to take an image due to the lighting conditions. However, as I went to leave, I did see the light begin to change and improve so I took this image. I knew the soft light would not last long so I decided to try a slightly different composition in an attempt to include less sky than the concept image I captured 14 months ago. I moved beyond the bush and included as little of the scene as possible. I decided to strip it down to only the key characters in the scene and I felt the tree furthest right from my first composition was no longer necessary. By doing this I have included less sky and have been able to show closer up more of the details in the scene and trees. Again I think this composition works well too. This scene will be one I return to again. I like the images I have captured and as I live with them they continue to grow in me. However my passion for this scene will make me seek other versions of this story. I would be interested to see the scene with some mist in the background. However, based on my experience, the chances of that occurring here are very slim indeed. I also feel that it may look atmospheric in a flurry of snow but for now I am happy with what I have achieved. Which of the two images do you prefer and why? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. 
So behind me now is the scene that caught my interest as I was walking up to capture my first image today. And the first thing that I spotted about the, the final composition that I've set up here is this fallen over uprooted tree here. And you can actually see there appears to be what looks like another small tree actually growing out of it. Uh, it's leaning over and resting on this tree to the left. And then just by having a look around some more, there's obviously some fallen trees on the, the ground here. But just by looking around the scene, I wanted to try and find a nice composition to, to try and include that. And actually, if you look into the distance, it may be hard to see in the video, but there's quite a lot of interest going on with some unusual trees. And as we move back and a little bit higher, you may see, or hopefully you'll at least see in my final image, that there's some interesting trees and almost like a subtle tunnel going off into the distance down to some trees down there. So by looking around, I thought, what can I do to try and get an effective composition here? And then I saw this very interesting carved tree here just in the right with an outstretched branch which again, similar to the other scene that I took earlier on, is leaning over, almost reaching out over that small tree-like shape that's growing out of the fallen tree. So that's the composition I've set up. Now, if you go reasonably wide in this shot, there's the potential to take in. We've got some interesting dead trees or branches here just to the left. But the problem then becomes that you start to take in too much in this scene and you also include elements of the sky, which I don't want in this scene. So by positioning the camera here fairly high, looking down this slope slightly, I'm trying to just isolate that curved tree and the fallen tree in the distance. And then by using a slightly longer focal length, I'm also bringing in the background a little bit, showing some of the detail off that, down that tunnel that I was speaking about. And again, I've been reasonably lucky with the light. There's been some really bright spells, which creates that patchy contrasty light, which I don't really like in the woodland. And then we're getting more overcast spells like it is at the moment, where the scene looks pretty good and you can just see the natural shapes and colour a little bit better. So that's going to be my final image for today and an unexpected one. I just saw this scene as I moved up to capture my first composition but a nice little bonus and I do quite like this composition. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and seeing the, the couple of images that I've captured. It's taken 14 months to get a version of the first composition that I was happy with. And I really think I've probably captured it close to as good as I can today, unless I'm really lucky and get some mist or perhaps come back in winter when there's snow. But that'll be for another time if I do indeed do that. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next one.